Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be a Cleopatra inspirational look for Halloween. So if you are looking to be Cleopatra this year, this is the look you're going for. I did um, yellows and blues, uh, a little bit of teals in there as well. I did a cut crease, double wing, two gems lined up with my brow, um, defined cheeks, and luscious burgundy lips. So if this is something that you're looking for, sit back and relax and enjoy the tutorial. Bye guys! Okay, so we're going to start off with an eyeshadow base and I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base in white or it's the same thing as in using the Jumbo NYX milk pencil. But I'm just going to use the one in the jar. So use your finger, use a brush, whichever works easier for you. And just put that all over your lid. Okay, so next, go ahead and grab whichever bright yellow you have. Um, I have chrome yellow from MAC. Grab a flat brush just like this one. And we really want this yellow to pop out, so I'm going to grab some product on my brush and spray the MAC Fix Plus. I think I just got... No, I didn't. I thought I got lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> okay, anywho. Go ahead and grab product on the brush, spray it, and apply this to the brow bone. And bring it down and you want to bring this down as far as where you're you get your crease already the crease line going so we want this to be we want the entirely to be half yellow and then half blue like this side so all over bring it all the way to the inner corner point it towards the nose bring that all the way down Bring this slightly further out because we're going to drag um, your, what's this called again, you guys? <laughs> your brow. <laughs> we're going to darken it and then pull it down because Cleopatra has a really long eyebrow. So bring it a little further out. Use your imagination as to how far your line will go. Okay, so next I'm going to be working with my Inglot palette. I got this one and went to Vegas. I still need to do a review on this, which will be coming up soon whenever I have time. Anywho, I'm going to be using this bright, vibrant aqua color. Um, yeah, pick whichever one that you have in your own makeup collection. So I'm going to grab this. And the same thing that I did with the yellow, I'm going to grab the MAC Fix Plus, spray it. Because I really want this to be bright on my lid. And then I'm going to start from the inner corner. And just pull this all the way across. Well, actually like halfway across. That's actually more than halfway, isn't it? <laughs> Don't pull this all the way out here to the outer corner because we're going to be adding um, a darker blue to it just to smoke it out just slightly. And go ahead and pull this to where your crease line is, where it meets the yellow. No need for blending because we're going to add um, a cut crease. Alright, now I'm moving to Coastal Scents and I'm using my 36 Smoky Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like that. And I'm going to grab, I'm looking for a navy blue. Yeah, I'm looking for a navy blue. So I'm going to use this one right here. <laughs> Another flat brush. I'm using flat brushes just because I want to pack on the color. So, as you notice, all my brushes I've been using have been flat. My palette just fell. Alright, so the next one I'm going to use is the black on this Coastal Scents palette. And I'm grabbing a flat angle brush just like this one. It's from MAC and it's the number 63. We'll grab some of that black eyeshadow and I'm going to cut the crease now. So you want to start from the outer corner and just use where both colors meet, the yellow and the blues, as a guidance. Or just look straight forward in the mirror and take the shape of your eye and as a guideline. Yeah. <laughs> I never make sense. Or maybe I do make sense. Can 
You want to take your time when you're doing this because it is black. Black is a very intense color. Once you mess up, <laughs> you messed up. So take your time. You can always go back once you perfect the line. Perfected the line. You can always go back and make the the black more and more intense. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut the crease all the way to the inner corner. Alright, so next what we're going to do using that same black from the Coastal Sense palette or whichever black that you prefer. Um, using the same brush, I'm going to fill in my brows with black because her brows are pretty freaking bold. Okay, now we're going to apply the eyeliner. And as you can see on this side, I did a really dramatic wing and it's actually two wings. So that's what we're going to do right now. So apply eyeliner, of course, across the eye. And then... Where the where we cut the crease, we want to connect it. So I'm just gonna do a line, just like that, and then maybe take it out a little further, and then connect it to the liner on right here by the lash line. So there goes the first wing. Alright, so now we want to extend this one out. So this one was like pointing towards the tip of our brow. And this one's just going to be going outwards. But still connected to this wing that we have over here. So go ahead and make your first line. Just like so and then slightly thicken it. Voila! Alright, so after we've done the wing, we're going to add black to our waterline top and bottom and with whatever product is left over, I'm going to smoke out the bottom. So I'm going to apply some down here, getting really close to the waterline. And then you want to go grab your smudger and just smudge this and just smoke it out. Okay, next I'm going to grab my LA Splash Eyeliner Liquid Liner. <laughs> my eyeliner, wait, why do I keep saying eyeliner liquid? It's totally backwards. Liquid Eyeliner in Peel Mania. And it looks like that. And I'm just going to put this in the inner corner of the tear duct area. Pull it in just a little bit and bring it out slightly, just like so. Get a little shama shama in a, in a corner. Alright, next is putting on the falsies. Yes, Red Cherry Lashes in 106. After all that is done, I'm going to come back and show you guys to apply the gems and the rest of the face, and then we'll be done being Cleopatra. Alright, catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so the falsies are already on, and since I was already working with the glue, I just decided to put the gems on. Um, the yellow, I have a yellow one and a, like a dark blue, royal blue one. And the blue, I mean, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the yellow one is smaller than the blue one. And I just put the yellow one at the tip of my brow where it ended, and then the bigger blue one, um, like, lined up with the second wing that we made. Next, for blush, that's, like, all for the eyes. And then for the blush, um, I'm using Spring Sheen from MAC. And I'm going to apply this over here to my cheekbones rather than to the apples of my cheeks. And I'm going to pack this on. And then after that, after we apply our blush, left is, what's left is the lips. I can't talk today, as usual. What's left is the lips. And the color that I used was Revlon. And it is, I was going for more of a, a dark burgundy color. And the one I used was a Raspberry Bite. And like I said, it's from Revlon. It's a really pretty, pretty color. So that's what's on my lips. Um, these are pretty glossy alone, so I don't have any lip gloss on top of that. 
and that completes your Cleopatra look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys!